Well thanks guys, when many other car companies are getting out of the sedan market, Subaru is going full-fledged sedan. This brand new legacy has things its competitors don't. It was the first Subaru ever built in the USA and is an important part of the Subaru brand, but for 2020 it takes a huge leap forward. Now you can buy a sporty all-wheel drive sedan for less than you might think. On the outside, the legacy has not changed much, but why mess with something that looks good already? They have a new XT Touring trim for a sportier look. The biggest change on the outside is the new grille and the updated Hawkeye headlights. The legacy looks stylish and sophisticated on the side. If you need a little more room, you can always go for the Outback, the legacy's close cousin, the wagon version. Although the outside remains much the same, the changes have happened on the inside. Now, Subaru weren't always known for their interior quality, but now they have vastly improved that with Napa leather and some different kinds of cloth on the inside of their vehicles. And the biggest star of the car is the 11.6 infotainment screen, a huge tablet with loads of information. The Legacy has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Two computer CPUs make the infotainment system super fast. Heated and cooled seats can be controlled from the screen, as are the apps. And Subaru's EyeSight and satellite radio are standard. You can also get a front camera. Subaru also have a driver-focused camera that watches your face and alerts you if you get sleepy or you use your cell phone and are not paying attention to the road. Subaru is pretty proud of the fact that their vehicles, many of them, make the Safety Peak Plus category. And one of their biggest things in safety is visuals. In fact, they've changed where the mirrors are in the car and open up some quarter light panels so you can see absolutely everything around the vehicle. I hope brown is your thing, because that is the only colour if you opt for the touring trim. On that touring trim you will find stitched leather, lots of soft touch surfaces and one touch up and down windows. So Subaru have done something different. We've all heard of seat airbags that come out of the side of the seat so you don't hit your head against the window. But what they've done is added an airbag in the bottom of the seat and that stops you doing something called submarining, which is sliding off your seat in the case of an accident. Subaru have not had a turbocharger for 10 years, but the 2020 Legacy marks the return of the turbo. Now once you jump into the 2.4 litre turbo engine, you get a little more of an exhilarating ride and a better 0 to 60 time. The basic engine is a 2.5 boxer engine that is a flat 4 cylinder, but the 2.4 turbo is the same engine that is in the much bigger Subaru Ascent, making 260 horsepower, and although you may not buy this car for racing, it does a very respectful 0 to 60 in 6.1 seconds. The Legacy is comfortable, well made, capable, and well priced. This car is for adults. If that's your thing, this is a home run. Brand new Subaru Legacy starts at just under $23,000 best fuel economy you'll get, 35 miles a gallon on the highway. I'm Nick Myers.